Okay, so while editing my videos, right, I like to look back on how I'm doing my lifts, I like to correct my form, see how fast I'm going, how slow I'm going. I'm looking back at these clips of episode two of when I pretty much snapped my shit up in my lower back. Now, if you guys could look closely, look at the first set prior to when I snapped my back. Or well, didn't snap it, it was, I just heard it. But basically, the first set, I was going pretty smooth. I went pretty fast. I probably should have slowed down, but all in all, it was nice. My knees, my hips, my shoulders, everything was locking out together. And it felt nice. I even said in the video that it felt a lot nicer on my back. And then ironically, in the next set, my back got hurt. But now I'm looking closely at what happened. When I set up, I was all right. But then right before I lifted, I hiked my hips up a bit or I lifted my hips up a bit and therefore my back was pretty much perpendicular to the ground and because of that I pretty much used my lower back only to lift that weight and when I went for that second rep I just couldn't do it anymore I started feeling the shooting pain on the right side on the lower right side of my back and for some reason I was feeling it in my right nut like no lie like I, I know I'm joking about that in the video but seriously like, I felt it all the way from my the right side of my lower back to my right side of my groin and I just felt so pissed I hope my back heals by Wednesday if it's not perfectly healed by then I'm probably just not going to do the deadlift or I might skip that day only and just start back up on Friday so yeah, uh, you guys comment down below what you guys think. I like sumos, I'm going to continue doing sumos, but I'm going to try to keep my hips a lot lower since I'm spreading my legs a lot wider, no homo. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all next time, stay blessed, done.